This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone or glorify the use of drugs. How's it going, everyone? My name is Fish, and in this video, I'll be assessing all eight B vitamins. B vitamins are most well known for their crucial roles in energy metabolism. They help convert the food we eat into energy that fuel our bodies. Additionally, they help with other vital functions such as producing blood cells, repairing DNA, and maintaining healthy immunity. If you struggle with continuous lack of energy or motivation, it's very possible that you're not getting enough B vitamins in your diet. I need some vitamin B. Our bodies cannot manufacture these vitamins independently, so we must get them through external sources. Originally, they were 12 B vitamins. However, four of them were later removed because they didn't fit the definition of a vitamin anymore. The main reason being that vitamins cannot be synthesized by the body on its own. So when it was discovered that four out of the 12 B vitamins could be created within the body, they were removed, thus leaving us with a total of eight B vitamins. All eight B vitamins are known to increase energy in different ways, which is why most energy drinks are loaded with them. Man! Right. Moreover, they're all water soluble, meaning that excess amounts will build up in your system and any surplus will be excreted through your urine. In general, B vitamins are essential nutrients that every person walking this earth needs to survive. So today, I'll go over each one individually, explain how important they are, and describe the advantages or disadvantages they have. Let's get into it. The first one we'll look at is thiamine or vitamin B1. This is present in whole grain foods like bread, pasta, and rice. B1 plays an important role in breaking down sugar, carbohydrates, and fatty acids. It does so by converting carbs and fats into glucose for energy. B1 improves glutamate and GABA, which can yield nootropic benefits and treat neuropathic pain. Additionally, thiamine can be highly synergistic with magnesium. They are cofactors that rely on each other, and taking one will deplete the other. Taking them both together can give you a more positive mindset and proves to be an effective natural combo for treating anxiety and depression. Positivity is the first Step. Unfortunately, because B1 is water soluble, it has a hard time crossing the blood brain barrier. To counteract this, users can take a derivative called sulbutyamine, which is a fat soluble form that is easily digested and consists of two B1 molecules fused together. This compound functions in the body just like normal thiamine and is more effective since it has a greater bioavailability. This is so much better than that. <laughs> This form tends to be associated with a reduction in brain fog and increased mental clarity with less anxiety. The next B vitamin is riboflavin or B2. Riboflavin assists in breaking down fats, steroids, and drugs. Furthermore, it contributes to the repair and development of tissues within the body. Riboflavin is required for transporting iron in the blood so the body can absorb and utilize iron correctly. Consuming B2 will make your urine turn yellow even if you're hydrated. It's just that that urine was like sun chip yellow, man. One of my old roommates used to have a weekly drug test and I will give him this vitamin so his pee would turn yellow. If I remember correctly, he would take the vitamin and drink a lot of water the night before. Then in the morning when they gave him the test cup, he'd go in the bathroom and pee a little bit in the cup so it'd be kind of yellow and then he'd put hot water from the sink in it to dilute it. Apparently this worked every time because he never failed even though his pee was always dirty. It definitely depends on the test though because the one he did had instant results with that temperature thing on the side. Anyway, thiamine also converts tryptophan into niacin which is our next B vitamin. Niacin or B3 improves cholesterol and reduces skin damage from the sun. It's one of the best natural remedies that can prevent hormonal acne. This is the hardest type of acne to treat that comes from the inside out rather than acne that's caused by dirt and debris getting stuck in your pores. I was talking about you, pimple chin. Niacin is the precursor to NAD, which is a coenzyme found in all living cells and reverses the process of aging. Niacin is one of my favorite B vitamins, but it causes the most unpleasant side effect known as flushing. The niacin flush is a term used to describe the temporary Ooh. sensation of warmth and redness that occurs when B3 causes the blood vessels to dilate. Whenever it happens to me, my entire body turns red all over and I become severely itchy. I think he's actually turned Red. It induces a state of non-stop itchiness where you cannot resist scratching your skin. Ah, 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 ah. Itches, 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 itches. Oh, oh. The first few times it happened to me, I didn't know what was causing it, and I thought I was breaking out in hives and having an allergic reaction to something. But apparently, the niacin flush is so common that at least 50% of people who take high doses of vitamin B3 experience it. Essentially, what happens is high doses of niacin trigger a response that causes your capillaries to expand, which increases blood flow to the skin's surface, making it turn red and itchy. One thing you can do to prevent flushing is to take the non flush version of niacin instead, which is called nicotinamide, aka niacinamide. So if you find the flush to be uncomfortable, opt into taking niacinamide instead. Other than that, you can take aspirin 30 minutes prior to B3, or you can just power through the flush and you will gradually build a tolerance to it over a week or two of daily usage. Moving on, vitamin B5, or pantothenic acid, is critical for the synthesis of acetylcholine. B5 is necessary to make coenzyme A, which is necessary to make acetylcholine. If you use racetams like phenylprastam or nupep and are using a choline supplement to raise acetylcholine levels, you will definitely need extra vitamin B5 to ensure that you won't get a choline deficiency. Another notable benefit is that B5 is often claimed as the number one vitamin 
vitamin to treat hormonal acne even more than niacin. Pyridoxine, or vitamin B6, metabolizes amino acids and is required for the synthesis of dopamine, epinephrine, GABA, melatonin, norepinephrine, and serotonin. All of these neurotransmitters are related to memory, mood, and focus. Some people report that B6 helps them get better sleep and induces vivid dreams. Some melatonin supplements like this one include vitamin B6 with it. B6 has a direct effect on your immune system and has a role in regulating glucose levels. Some people find it beneficial for treating conditions like tendonitis or joint pain. Vitamin B7, or biotin, influences the use of BCAAs, which is commonly taken before workouts. Biotin is essential for the formation of white blood cells and is needed for a strong immune system to safeguard the body against infections. Now I pity the fool who don't respect my immune system. B7 is perhaps best known for its ability to boost nail and hair growth. Taking biotin can make your hair thicker and you will have healthier nails that won't break as easily. Your skin will feel more plump and give it the perfect balance between feeling soft and strong. Look at this flawless skin. Moving on, folate is a form of vitamin B9 that's naturally found in foods while folic acid is the supplement form. B9 is a necessary component in the process that generates the majority of your neurotransmitters. Folate touches nearly everything in your brain and at least a third of people who suffer with depression are deficient in vitamin B9. It's notably beneficial in reducing social anxiety and can assist in preventing panic attacks and reduce obsessive or compulsive thoughts. Last but not least, vitamin B12 or cobalamin is probably the best known B vitamin and is my personal favorite. It is estimated that around 15% of the overall population is deficient in B12, making it the most common B vitamin that people lack. Moreover, plants and vegetables don't contain adequate amounts of B12. This puts vegetarians and vegans at risk of B12 deficiency because it is the only vitamin that must be acquired from animal-derived foods or supplements. If you're deficient but start supplementing with it, you may experience a significant boost in energy and feelings of fatigue will start to go away. B12 is one of the best ways to naturally boost your metabolism and convert food into energy. The molecules in your body are converted into energy. It heavily influences different aspects of cognition, such as alertness and mood. This is due to the fact that vitamin B12 increases the biosynthesis of all major neurotransmitters in your brain. If you feel fatigued or unmotivated, that's a sign of B12 deficiency. Something to note is that nitrous oxide inactivates vitamin B12, so if you take a lot of whippets, you're also going to want to take B12. <laughs> nitrous oxide? Are you crazy? Proton pump inhibitors and birth control pills can also deplete levels of B12. When it comes to ensuring that you get the minimal intake for all AB vitamins, the easiest way to prevent deficiencies is to take a B-complex supplement. This is a supplement that comprises of low doses of every B vitamin. Although it contains each B vitamin, it's typically only the minimal required amount. So it's still beneficial to take B vitamins on their own because the dose is way higher when they're an individual supplement. Personally, I take a B-complex pill and one or two other individual B vitamins with it every day. If you only take one B vitamin over a long period of time, it could create an imbalance of all the others. Too much of one or two could create a depletion of others. So it's good to keep a healthy balance and rotate them depending on the day. Overall, B vitamins are extremely vital for life and you should at the very least consider taking a B complex pill. If you took B complex and B12 every single day for the rest of your life, you would live longer, be healthier, and have more energy. Another interesting compound that's a derivative of vitamin B3 is NMN. NMN is a precursor to NAD, which is the most abundant molecule in life besides water. Watch this video next on everything you know about NMN and how it literally reverses the process of aging. My name is Fish and I stay low key. Peace out.